full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Here are a few common causes why your Emerson TV keeps shutting off. There is an issue with the power source or outlet. The remote batteries are flat, or the remote does not work. The cords are damaged and impaired. Too many devices are connected to the TV. 1. There is no electricity flowing through the TV. Your TV cannot turn on if no electricity flows through it. A possible cause for this issue is that the power button on your remote control is not being pressed hard enough or at all. This issue can easily be solved by replacing the batteries in your remote control. If this does not work, try pressing the power button on your TV for at least three seconds. This will activate it and make it turn on. If you still have issues with your Emerson TV shutting off, check the cord connections and replace them if necessary. You may also want to think about buying a new HEMI or EVA cable if the problem persists and is consistent. 2. Check the TV power source or outlet. Issues with your power source or outlet are one of the most common reasons why your Emerson TV shuts off. If you have this problem, it is best to check the cord connections and batteries in your remote control. You may also have to replace the cord. First, make sure that the power cord is plugged into an active outlet and not a surge protector or extension cord. Second, inspect to see if there are any damaged wires in the cable that might be causing your TV to shut off randomly. If you think these issues may be causing your problem, it is best to have them repaired by professionals rather than trying to do so yourself. This will ensure that your Emerson TV stays on without interruption. 3. Power Cycle Your Emerson TV a power cycle is a simple process that can fix many issues on your Emerson TV. To do this, unplug the cord from the outlet and wait 30 seconds before plugging it back in. Press the power switch on the TV remote control or TV for at least 3 seconds to turn it on. If you are still having problems with your Emerson TV shutting off randomly, try powering off the device and reconnecting all of its cords. Wait at least 30 seconds before turning it on. If your Emerson TV is connected to the Wi-Fi or internet, make sure to turn off the connection before performing a power cycle. 4. Remove devices connected to your Emerson TV. Another possible cause for this issue is that too many devices are connected to your TV at once and it cannot handle them all correctly. If this is the case, try unplugging some of the cords from your TV. This will ensure that you do not have any problems with your Emerson TV shutting off randomly. Some users may experience a problem with their Emerson TV shutting off and then turning back on after a few minutes. This is typical because of a problem with the power source or outlet, as mentioned above. If this happens to you, try performing a power cycle as explained above. If your Emerson TV keeps shutting off and turning back on, it could be due to interference from another device that is too close to it. You may want to check out and see if any other devices around your TV might be causing this problem. 5. Try adjusting the ECO mode on your Emerson TV. A common cause for this issue is that your Emerson TV might have an ECO mode, which causes it to shut off automatically when not in use. That being so, you should try adjusting the ECO mode on your device. To do this, go to Settings and then Display. Once there, choose Picture Mode and select Standard. This will turn off the ECO mode on your Emerson TV and prevent it from shutting off randomly. 6. Factory Reset Your Emerson TV You might have to factory reset your Emerson TV. If all of the above solutions do not work, your Emerson TV may have a problem that cannot be fixed by yourself. In this case, it is best to factory reset your device and see if it works after that. To factory reset your Emerson TV, go to Settings and then Factory Reset. Ensure you back up all your TV data before doing so. After performing a factory reset on your Emerson TV, 
make sure to set it up again and plug it into an active outlet. If you are still having issues, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new details that appear.